There once was a player named Ian, endowed with such skeptical feeling. Would he try new techniques, or be ever the geek, and keep his eyes fixed on the ceiling? You have heard it said. Repeated, instructor by instructor. The world's greatest tennis players have followed this rule. Don't punch your volleys. However, the rule of not punching your volleys also seems to have been carried over to rallies. This advice was ostensibly given because tennis instructors wanted their students to develop topspin to carry the ball all the way to the baseline and to keep the ball in play. The spinning tennis ball takes the air and pushes it behind, like a dog digging a hole in the ground. Emptying the air beneath the ball causes the ball to drop. This is why a ball with topspin goes toward the ground. This keeps the ball in play. But, once topspin hits the ground, it jumps off at a low angle, making it harder to hit. The reason to hit it to the baseline is to drive the opponent back so you can then deliver a drop shot that makes it just over the net and dies. Real black belt tennis players can impart topspin with much more economy of motion. In most cases, the pros do not punch their volleys. But there are moments when time did not allow for them to do as they were trained, where they had to dig deeper to draw up something within them. Like a boxer, dealing his greatest blow, or a fighter, flowing key. It is these moments, where their shots are hit hardest, when they punched the ball, and won the point. Whether it is a volley or a rally, the point is that the hardest shots happen when the pros punch the ball. However, we are here to tell you, it can be done. Not just once in a while. Not just from time to time. But on every shot every strike every hit in the case of ian westerman balance is key two adjustments can make all the difference first adjustment instead of leaning over his left leg when hitting his forehand ian can keep his center of gravity in the middle instead of over his foot this keeps the pressure off his knee and allows him to generate more power from the rest of the body instead of only on one leg. Second adjustment instead of bringing the racket all the way across his body and to the top of his shoulder ian can bring the racket from one side of his body to the other in this case spin would be generated by rotating the wrist slightly while hitting the ball this will allow ian to shorten the time it takes to put spin on the ball without sacrificing speed the best shots by pros, like Federer, resemble punches. See for yourself. Oh, and there's a beauty. So, yes, punch your volleys. Start kicking some ass on the tennis court. And, this is a top 480 P player hitting with a top 180 P player. Notice, they keep wailing to the baseline. Real black belt tennis is a game of precision, knockout tennis, after two or three swings.
This bird's a view of the forearm and racket. Black belt tennis players take to the market. They get a rad vibe on Omega Prime. Angular displacement per unit time. Rotational transfer, arms to rackets. Karate swings Grant Wilson balls at blitz. Omega sub 2 maximized, zing. On a near total horizontal, swing. Dope double pendulum mechanics put a bird on this lit sick graphic. Elbow wrist swing, and the impact point are tight, while the other guy fin grunts. Efficient tennis seeds angular momentum. From upper arm, to forearm, to racket.